So I get asked all the time, what is the best prop firm? What is the best broker? So the best prop firm is the Forex Funder. They're letting you keep 95% of your profits. You can trade up to a million dollars in funding. They got raw spreads and an unlimited time limit. You can literally get 50% off any account right now if you use the code TFF50 and my affiliate code FXCarlos50. Now, as for the best broker that you can use, you're gonna wanna use Hanko Trade. It's a true ECM broker. You get 0.0, .0 spreads one to 500 leverage and two dollars minimum commission i'm using both of these companies at the same time to run up a bag and i think you guys should too now let's get into this video what up gang so today i want to give you guys some tips and tricks to instantly become a disciplined trader right and now you're probably asking yourself like oh my god this is another video where he's going to tell me to meditate and breathe for 30 minutes and then take a trade the fuck out of here with that shit bro that shit does not work i tried the cold showers i tried the breathing treatments i tried all all that shit bro it has no effect once you're in the market the emotions kick up and you're just gonna go crazy until you blow your account and then you're gonna be all depressed crying on the toilet like i was a year ago so let's get into this right so you might have heard some of these things that i've talked about before because i could only tell you what worked for me i could only tell you the truth right so first things first you need to get you an ea to calculate your position sizes for you right now one thing is it'll make it easier to enter a trade right it'll calculate everything all you got to do is move the red line and the green line right your stop loss and take profit that's all you got to do but another thing that people don't talk about is that if you have an ea let's say magic keys right because that's what i'm talking about i use magic keys but there's a lot of other position calculators you can use you don't have to spend 200 dollars on magic keys right but let's just say it's magic keys so you get your magic keys you set up your position you enter the trade as soon as you push that button enter right Right? As soon as you push it, you're going to take your magic keys, give it to the closest person, whether that's your wife, husband, brother, sister, homie, grandma, I don't care who it is, right? Give it to them and tell them, hide this shit. And no matter what, don't give it to me until tomorrow or afternoon, right? When we don't trade no more. This will instantly stop your over trading. To become a disciplined trader, you need to know what the feeling is like not to have the option to trade again, right? And once you start seeing that this shit works, right? In a month or two, you see, wait, I was actually profitable this month because you had no choice but to be disciplined, right? You couldn't enter that second trade. You couldn't enter that third trade. No matter how good it looked, no matter if all the traders got together and said bro you need to enter this trade right now this is about to make you a million dollars you can't do it because you don't have your position calculator try this shit bro it's going to instantly make you a better trader and for about 80 percent of you guys this will be the thing that will make you profitable a lot of you guys already have a great strategy you guys already know supply and demand you guys already know about risk management, but you're just not using it correctly because you can't handle your emotions, right? Once you get a great strategy, it's hard to stay out the market because you're like, man, yesterday I made 4%. If I do that again today, it'll be 8%. If I do that three times, it'll be 24%. We can move out, buy a Lamborghini. All this shit starts going in your mind, right? I've been there. You're laying down to sleep, waiting for the next day. You start calculating in your head. A Lamborghini payment's only 4K a month. I can give me a Lamborghini. Then I can move to Beverly Hills, get me a mansion there. It started, your mind just starts going crazy. So then when it's time to enter this, you're like, bro, if I just win this trade, I'll be one step closer. But if I win two trades, I'll get there even faster. I want to hurry up and go tell my wife, look, babe, I did it. You know, all, all your faith in me, all your belief in me wasn't for nothing. I did it. Look, I'm successful. That's what we want to do, right? That's the moment that we all work hard for is to go tell that person, whoever it is, your mom, your wife, your husband, you want to go tell them, look, you did it right? All this money that you've been spending, all this time that you've been spending away from her wasn't for nothing. You're not a fuck up. You're not a loser. I did this shit. And we all strive for that feeling, but it's going to take longer for you to have that moment if you keep breaking your rules. Trust me, it was very hard for me when I figured this out. I was about two and a half years into my journey and I knew that if I would just stop over trading, I would be successful, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't just take one trade a day, even though I know I'm supposed to. If I win that trade, in my head, I'm like, okay, now that I'm up 4%, right? If I lose 1%, I'll still be up 3%. So I'm going to take another trade and try to get us to 8%, right? You lose that trade. And then now you're like, oh, let me just get back to 4%. You lose that trade and you start going down a spiral. Every time you lose a trade and you enter again, your emotions are a little bit more out of whack than the previous one, right? So you're probably going to lose. And that's just what it is. That's just how it goes, bro. I've been through this shit, bro. I'm not telling you no lies. 
You take the option of you over trading away, you'll be a lot closer to being successful. And some of you guys might be like, you know what? I'm not buying an EA. I already spent money on courses, mentorship, blah, 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 right? Excuses. Shut the fuck up. You want to get successful now or you want to wait five years until you realize I was right and then you're going to go buy it then? It's just two, three, whatever fucking much it is, $15 a month, whatever you do right to get it, wherever, whatever program you go with, just get you something that lets you enter a trade and then it'll either lock you out where you can't put a trade in or you can actually give it to someone and tell them to hide it either way. But this will be the best investment for you because a lot of you guys already have the strategy down. You guys just keep over trading. I have a lot of people in my mentorship that be doing great. They making 20% in a month, 30% in a month, ridiculous numbers. Sometimes they even trade better than me, but then they have one day where they lose their shit and they blow their whole account. And I tell them, bro, you got to stop that shit. You can't just do this for one day. You can't just go take your magic keys, give it away for one day or one month and then be like, oh, I'm disciplined enough. No, let it go for a couple months. Let you get some money stacked in the bank. So where if you lose, it doesn't matter because once you have money in the bank and you don't need to trade to survive, trading becomes a lot easier, bro. I promise you, you're not going to give a fuck if you win or lose. If you win, you're like, great. If you lose, you're like, okay, cool. That's just how the game goes. You're going to realize it doesn't matter. People keep looking at their daily results or their weekly results. It matters about the end of the month, the end of the quarter. You're going to start, but you're not going to see that until you actually have money in the bank and it doesn't affect you because people used to tell me that all the time. It's not about the daily. I'm not, bitch, I'm checking my shit every three hours. When I win and I'm in profit, I'm looking at that profit every three hours. Like, yeah, I did it today. I'm looking at, again, yeah, two hours later. Yup, 2,800. Yup, I'm, I'm looking at it over and over, bro. And when I lose, I'm looking at that shit like man i can't believe i lost this much i can't believe i did this again when i made a promise to myself that i wouldn't do it again i still do it again right when you lose you beat yourself up for days bro you feel sick because you're probably gonna lose the next day because your emotions are all out of whack now because you took a loss yesterday i'm telling you i've been through all this shit so you take that over trading away and you'll be great now the next thing we need to talk about is closing your position too early right? This is a big problem that people have. They try to cut losses or they are up 1% and they're like, you know, what? I'm going to take my money. You know, and they hear someone say, you know what? Take your little hundred dollars, $200. Just take it. If you seen that money in front of you, would you take it? But no, that's not how Forex works. It's all about risk to reward. If you're risking a thousand, you can't pull out at 200. That money is not in front of you, right? You want to think of the money being in front of you, pull out a thousand dollars, give someone a thousand and take 200. See how you feel after that right? It's not going to feel very good. So what you need to do is you need to at least hit a one or two. I've been telling people this all the time. You need to at least get a one or two. You need to at least double your money. What kind of, think about it from an investment point. If you're investing a thousand dollars, why do you want to make 200? That don't make any sense. If you're making any, if you're investing any money, you should at least be doubling your money. So you got to get that one or two. So what are we going to do? We're going to stop our ability to close that trade, right? So you enter the trade. And remember, all these things that I'm telling you to do, you need to do it as soon as you enter the trade, as soon as you push the button because you're not losing. So as soon as you enter that trade, hand off your magic keys, delete that app off your phone, go for a walk. Get away from the computer because that's just going to be calling your name, bro. That's just going to be like, bro, just come check me real quick, bro. You don't even know. You might be up a million dollars. You might be blowing your account. That's just going to be talking in your ear. As soon as you enter the trade, give away your magic keys, delete the app, go for a walk. And you, I already know what you're going to say, bro, because I'm the same way. You're going to say, I'm not going to go on a walk by myself. I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to look awkward as hell just walking down the street seven in the morning for no reason. Bro, stop being a bitch, bro. No one's looking for you. No one's looking at you. Nobody gives a fuck about what you're doing, bro. You're not that important. That's what's wrong with people nowadays. They think everyone is just, they just think that they're a fucking major celebrity. And as soon as they step out, everyone's just staring at them with binoculars. Oh my God, look what he's wearing. Oh my God, what is he doing out at this time? No one gives a fuck about what you're doing, bro. Everybody has so much shit going on in their life. They don't care about some random guy walking down the street. They don't care. Stop thinking you're bigger than what you are, bro. Go for a walk. Go to Starbucks. You feel me? Drive. Go hiking. Nobody is looking at you. When you're driving and you see someone walking down the street, are you looking at them like, oh, look at his shoes. Oh, my God. Why does he look like that? Why is he walking by himself? I wonder what he's going through. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I don't want to hear no excuses saying I don't want to walk outside. No. Take your ass outside. Go for a walk. I promise you your mind will get off the forex charts. Go for a walk. Talk to Jesus. Get your relationship with God right. Maybe go out to breakfast with your family, 
go to the gym, do something, take your mind off of it, stop being so focused on it. As soon as you enter the trade, there's nothing left for you to do. Enter the trade, go live your life. This is exactly what I do. I enter a trade and I go play the game. I go hang out with my daughter, my wife. We go for walks. We go for breakfast. You know, we go shopping. We, we forget about it. The work is done. As soon as you push that button, the work is done. Stop checking that shit. Set your TP, set your stop loss. At the end of the day or the next morning, come see if you won or lost. And you're going to be surprised. You took away the over trading and you took out cutting the trade short. You're going to start seeing you being profitable more and more because the market likes to make you think it's going to fake you out, right? It might be coming straight for your stop loss and you're like, oh, let me hurry up and get out. And you would have won that trade. That shit still happens to me today. Sometimes I'll, I'll cut it early when I'm doing a live trading video and then I'll end up winning the trade. And it's just like, man, it's just because I'm doing this YouTube video. Normally, I would enter the trade and go live my life. And then I'll, I'll see my phone later if I won or lost. All right. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is you need to stop trading so much. I see people that have been studying for five, six, seven years, and they're still on the charts all day watching it for no reason. Stop doing that shit, bro. You're forcing your brain to see trades that are not there. We need to only be taking high probability trades. You're forcing shit now, bro. Get you some hobbies. Get you something that where Forex is not the only thing you're doing all day. Now, this is only for the people that already have their strategy down, that already have a trading plan. They have a strategy. They're, now they're just trying to get discipline, right? This is for these people. Now, if you're new to Forex or you're not sure about your strategy, then you need to be on the computer 24-7. You need to stop doing everything, bro. When you eat, eat at the computer, right? Everything you do should be on the computer. When you're in bed, laying down, you should be on your, on your phone looking at TradingView right? But if you already know your strategy works, you already have a trading plan, and now you're just trying to get to that next level of profitability where you're disciplined, you need to find you some new hobbies, bro. You, this can't be everything you're doing because then, then the time is going to take so long. You lose a trade and you start thinking, man, I can't wait till tomorrow to take another trade. There's no way. I just lost this trade in one minute. I can't wait till tomorrow. That's 24 hours. You're going to enter another trade. Or you're going to lose a trade and then you're going to be like, well, let me see what I did wrong when you just lost two minutes ago. You're going to get on the computer and say, what did I do wrong? You're going to start analyzing it. And you're like, oh, that's what I did wrong. Let me enter again. It looks perfect now. And you're going to lose again. And it's just going to keep happening and keep happening. Get off the computer, right? This is a big thing. Get off the computer. Play you some Fortnite, some Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like... Do whatever you got to do, bro. Being on the charts all day is basically over trading, right? You're doing too much. You already got your strategy down. You already got your trading plan down. Stop trading so much. Backtest which days work the best for you, right? Backtest about three months, six months, and, and see what days do you mostly win on and what days do you mostly lose on. And you're going to be surprised, right? For me, it's Wednesdays. I just seem to lose Wednesdays. So I cut them out. Now my win rate goes higher. Fridays are a little iffy, right? It's really, it's really up to you if you want to trade Fridays, but me, I'm not going to trade it. I'm good. I'd rather take trades where I know I have a high chance of winning and get a high risk to reward. You also want to back test what times are the best, right? What times do your trades seem to hit TP? How fast do they hit TP, right? Back test all this shit. You need to be journaling. If you're not journaling, you're wasting your time, bro. You're not going to remember everything that you need to remember. So get you Notion or whatever that shit is called and journal your trades and backtesting, right? See what patterns seem to work, what times seem to work, what days seem to work the best. Take pictures of them, put notes while you enter the trade. And you're going to see over a month, you're going to say, okay, these trades seem to work 80% of the time. These trades, it's like 30%. Let me cut that out. Right now, we're only going for to for high probability setups and you're going to be profitable. I'm telling you, it's not that hard, but you need to do the work. Once you got everything lined up, there's no choice but to win. Get rid of the over trading and cutting your trade short and back test the best days, best times, best pairs and everything will line up, bro. Once you got a strategy that you know that works and you got a great trading plan and, and you cut out everything that can mess it up, there's no choice but for you to win. So I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And I can't wait to see all you guys successful because all you guys could do this shit, bro. Every single one of you could do this shit if you just lock in. I promise you, you can. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing special about every other trader you see. We just didn't make no excuses. We showed up and we put in the work that people don't want to do. People don't want to journal. 
People don't want to go back test three, six months and write down every little thing, take pictures of it. People don't want to do that shit. They just want the fast way. They want to go buy another course and think that there's going to be some secret sauce in there that's going to change everything. That's not what it is. It's all about being disciplined and putting in the work. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.